Hello everybody and welcome to another fantastic Envisions Algebra 2 video. I know you guys are super excited about doing this. Um, we're looking at topic 3, lesson 7, example 5, apply a transformation of a cubic function and then we're going to try it. So we're going to start with the volume of box. Here's my box. And the box, don't worry about this, I did this in CAD software, but the volume or the length here is x the width here is x and the length here is the x. So we get the volume of x equaling x cubed. All right. The post office lists permissible shipping volumes in cubic feet. So this is in cubic yards. So this is x yards. This one is x yards. And this one is x yards. So this is x cubed yards cubed. And what we need to do is we need to convert this into feet. All right, so if I'm looking at the edge here, if I'm looking at converting this edge, let me put x yards a little bit further, and I need to convert this edge into feet, I'll do x yards a y for yards divided by one yard and one yard is three feet. So in other words, this length here is going to be three times x. If this is three times x then the rest of these are going to be three times x. So I'm going to put this in blue, three x's in feet, feet and feet. So now what we're looking at here is the volume of x is going to equal, or the volume is no longer x. The volume was x for yards, but now the volume is going to be 3 times x, because this is 3 times x, 3 times x, 3 times x. It's going to equal 3 times x cubed. All right, the cubed can now be using the exponential properties. a times b to the n power equals a n bn. So this is going to equal 3 cubed x cubed. And 3 cubed is going to be 27. Looking at this, our a is going to be 27. And that's all. So we have a vertical stretch of 27. But I don't think we need to go that far. So we just have to write a function in cubic feet as a unit. So here we go, convert from yards to feet, so x with 3x, evaluate v of x for the value of 3x, and then simplify to write the function. We did start this with a, with a paragraph. We should end with at least a sentence. So the function that represents the volume of the box in cubic feet is v of x equals 27x cubed. Let's see the common error. Remember that, or remember to apply the exponents correctly. 3x cubed does not equal 3x cubed. It equals 27x cubed. Okay, let's look at part B. Oh, look, they gave us a terrarium. Ter 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 a terrarium is in the shape of a rectangular prism. The volume of the tank is given by v of x equals x times 2x times x plus 5, or 2x cubed plus 10x squared where x is measured in inches. The manufacturer wants to compare the volume of the tank with one that has a width of two inches shorter, but maintains the relationship between the width and the other dimensions. The manufacturer wants to compare the volume of the tank with one that has a width of two inches. So my width here, I'm going to assume it's x. So let me grab my tank because I'm going to use the tank to kind of write this out, just like I used that square in the last one, or that cube, I should be more precise. So my x here, we're going to look at one that is 2 inches short. So this is x minus 2, which means that that 2x is 2 times x minus 2. And this is going to be x minus 2 plus 5. So my volume of x minus 2 is going to equal x minus 2 times 
2 x minus 2 times I never know why I don't give myself enough space so x plus 3 Write the new function for the volume of the smaller tank. I wonder if, oh yeah, we do have to multiply it out. Or because they already did multiply out here, I could just say this is v of x minus 2 equals 2x minus 2 cubed plus 10. Why do I never give myself enough space? 10x minus 2 squared. And I'm wondering if they want us to go expand it, but I don't see why they would want us to expand it. So let's see. All right, so we have v of x minus 2. Oh, they do want us to expand it. We place all the x minus 2s here. They distributed. Let's see if our expansion would be the same. So times x minus 2, minus 2, x minus 2. Using Pascal's identity, this is 2. 1, 3, 3, 1. So this is um, x cubed. Actually, you know what? Instead of expanding that, let's go back to our one up here. Well, it should be the same. They do move it out here. So, so we have 2x minus 4. Then they expand it. And then they put this in expansion form. Honestly, if you wrote it as v of x minus 2 equals 2x minus 2 cubed plus 10x minus 2 squared, I would have accepted that. But the function that represents the volume of the smaller tank is v of x minus 2. Why is this not going all the way down? That is weird. Um, 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 16x plus 24. So there you have it. Again, we did it just like they did, except I liked it in the factored form. They did it in the expand form. Because this is the book, I would expand it when you are doing your homework. Okay, right, so the last one is two word problems. Again, expand them because it does want it expanded. I did like it in this form, but they do want it expanded form. I guess this is the expanded form. Um, but I will catch you in the next video. Actually, we know what? We are at the end of this video. So let's go down to the concept summary. And in this, make sure you have this in your notebooks. You have your end behavior. This tells you your leading coefficient. If the right side is negative, then that's a negative leading coefficient. If the right side is going towards the positive, that is a positive one. Same here. Translation. Ah, scaling um, of even and odd function. So make sure you have this all in your notes. And I will catch you in the next topic. We're going to a new topic. So we'll see you later.